So I'm working on the liquid density problem, and we're, we're using compound A1. So I click on A1. Now the glass where we're going to need graduated cylinder, maybe a 25 mil graduated cylinder, a pipette, five milliliter pipette. Uh, we may need a 250 mil beaker. And the last thing we need is a, a scale. This is all the equipment you need to determine the density of the A1 solution. <clears throat> so now we're going to determine the density of five milliliters of A1. So we have a graduated cylinder, get our compound, use a five mil pipette. We'll draw up to the calibration mark. So you want the meniscus to be at the minimum, minimum of the meniscus at the calibration mark. So you see here at five milliliters, the bottom of the meniscus is at the calibration mark, which means it has 5.00 milliliters. So then we take this to our graduated cylinder. We're going to pour it in there. And again, you notice that the, the meniscus is at the, the minimum of the meniscus is at the five mil mark. So now we take the graduated cylinder over to the balance, record the mass of the solution. And then subtract that from the mass of the empty graduated cylinder. Now we take the graduated cylinder, put it back off the balance, take the five mil pipette, withdraw another five milliliters. Again, you want the meniscus of the liquid to be at the calibration mark, right there. Now we're going to discharge it into the graduated cylinder. Oh, and I did it backwards, my bad. So you, now you see it's at the 10 mil mark. So this line represents 10 milliliters right here. Now we take it, move it over to the balance, record that mass, and then subtract it from the mass of the empty graduated cylinder. and record the mass of the solution for 10 milliliters. Now we bring it back off the balance, go get five more milliliters,
Again, we want the minimum of the meniscus to be right at the calibration mark, just like this. This tells us we have five milliliters. So now we go back, add it to the graduated cylinder. Ah, again, I pushed the wrong button. Don't make that mistake. So here you see again that the minimum of the meniscus is at the 15 milliliter mark. So now we go and record its mass. Now that's the mass of the solution and the graduated cylinder subtracted from the mass of the empty graduated cylinder. And that's the mass of uh, solution for 15 milliliters. Now we go back, use the pipette, extract out five more milliliters. Pour it into the graduate cylinder. And you see we're at the 20 mil mark. So now we have 20 milliliters. Put it on the balance. Now again, that's the mass of the graduate cylinder and the uh, solution. So we're going to subtract off the empty graduated cylinder. All right, and then finally we do 25 milliliters. So again, we take our five milliliter pipette, we draw five milliliters. Make sure the minimum of the meniscus is at the calibration mark. Oops. All right. So now we go, we this we pour it into the graduated cylinder. And now you see we have 25 milliliters. So then we go record the mass. Now that's the mass of the solution and the graduated cylinder. Subtract the mass of the empty graduated cylinder. And now you've just determined the mass and volume for all the different volumes for A1. And then you would repeat this same procedure for A2.